Why are some people blessed with good destiny, while others are not so fortunate? Pay attention to this story. Helen Hansel was able to win any competition she took part in. She was known as the contest queen because she had won seven trips to Paris, boats, houses. She would basically take part in any sweepstake she read about, any contest, and she would just win. That made my documentary crew and I asked Helen, how do you do that? And she spoke about this thing called the Silva Technique. Helen, you see, was Jose Silva's former PR manager. She had the benefit of learning closely from that man. Now, Jose Silva was a radio repairman who lived in the border town of Laredo, Texas in the 1940s. He had 10 kids and his kids were not doing very well in school. Now, Jose Silva had a crazy idea. You see, he had served in the US Army and he was fascinated by the psychological questions that the army psychologists would ask new recruits. So he decided to look at psychology and then look at what he knew about radio repair and figure out how he could change the mindset and the brains of his kids so they could do better in school. As a radio repairman, he knew that if you reduce the resistance of a wire, more electricity flows through it. So he wondered, what could I do to reduce the resistance in the human mind? He decided to experiment with reducing any form of resistance in his children's brain. He experimented with biofeedback. He experimented with hypnosis. And sure enough, his children's grades started improving at school. But then something astonishing happened. He was sitting down with his daughter, Isabel, reading a history book and asking Isabel questions. So he would guide Isabel into a restful state of being. She would have her eyes closed. He would read her the important dates. She would be able to absorb that. And then he would ask her questions. But something strange started happening. Isabel was able to answer a question before he verbally spoke it. Now, let me explain this. He would think of the question in his head, a question such as who was the 16th president of the United States. Before he could verbally say it, Isabel would answer the question, Abraham Lincoln. Jose Silva was mind blown. And so he wrote to Professor J.B. Ryan at Duke University. J.B. Ryan was famous for his research into a concept called ESP, extrasensory perception. And Silva told Ryan, Doctor, I think I train my daughter to have ESP. J.B. Ryan replied back in a letter and said, no, that's absolutely not true. No one can be trained to have this. Your daughter must have been born with it. Jose Silva disagreed. So he continued training the rest of his kids to develop a high degree of intuition. So now over the next 10 years, Jose Silva trained 39 Laredo children on this approach. He documented the results. He made everything hyper precise and he proved J.B. Ryan wrong. This was a trainable skill. But then adults started noticing and adults started coming to him in Laredo, Texas to get trained. Jose Silva decided to call his approach the Silva Mind Control Method. And what happened next was astonishing. A man wrote in a newspaper how after learning Silva's method, he was able to cure his persistent migraine headaches for good. The migraines just disappeared. The next class, Jose wrote in his autobiography, was absolutely flooded by people. And the Silver Mind Control Method ended up expanding all across the United States. So here's what Jose Silva discovered as the root cause of all our problems. We are powerful beings. But from the time we are born, from the education system we grow up in, from our parents and caretakers who may not know better, we take on so much negative programming. We actually suppress our inherent human abilities. There was a famous study done that showed that all children under the age of four are naturally hyper creative and genius. But the percentage of kids who show genius ability gets lower and lower and lower as they get older. Something about our modern way of life removes these unique abilities from us. The solution Jose Silva discovered is the act of being able to consciously access altered states of consciousness. What is an altered state of consciousness? Well, our consciousness actually operates at different frequencies. You can measure this using a scientific device called an EEG machine. There is a frequency called beta, which is the waking state frequency. Most of us are in beta as we go through our jobs. But when you get into a relaxed state of mind, you go into a hyper creative state called alpha. Alpha is known for creativity, 
for problem solving, for accelerated healing. Meditators, monks go into alpha as part of their daily routine. Athletes are proven to go into alpha before they take a shot, before they shoot an arrow. The alpha state is what you're in when you practice relaxation or meditation. And this is why there are over 15,000 studies today that show that being relaxed and being in a meditative or mindful state actually improve your health and well-being. But you can go further than that. You can access the next state, which is called theta. Now, theta is a really curious state. Scientists who study theta say that this is the state that gives you inspiration, eureka moments. Difficult problems suddenly get solved with a great insight. Let me give you an example. Thomas Edison, the great inventor, was known for his afternoon naps, but he napped in a really curious way. Legend has it he would sleep on a sofa holding a metal ball in his hand, and when he drifted off into deep sleep, his hand would drop, the ball would hit a metal plate next to the sofa, causing a loud clang that woke him up. In short, he was dipping into sleep and waking up, dipping into sleep and waking up. Why did he do this? Because Edison was dipping into the theta level. The theta level is the level of light sleep, and he was dipping into it to get inspiration and insights. He wasn't the only one. A famous American inventor by the name of William Gates II would create some of the most incredible patents and trademarks. He had dozens of them, but his method was to go into theta by locking himself in his darkened basement, closing all the lights, sitting on his desk, and going into a deep state of relaxation where ideas and eureka moments would flow to him. Now, while theta is the waking frequency, all of us can learn to tap into alpha and theta, and the next level is the most curious of all, delta. Delta is the level that you're in when you're asleep. But Silva found that you can learn to program your mind just before going to sleep and have your mind solve problems for you while at Delta. Scientists who study Delta have noticed this. People who are able to operate at the Delta level of mind often tend to be incredibly lucky. Miracles happen, crazy serendipities occur. You might call it magic or good luck, but it's something different. It almost seems like these people who are trained to access Delta can bend reality. Jose Silva went on to create this incredible movement called the Silver Mind Control Movement. It was one of the first personal growth programs in America. His book, The Silver Mind Control Method, sold millions upon millions of copies. Everyone from opera singer Margareta Piazza to the Chicago White Sox spoke about how Silva techniques were allowing them to improve their skill on stage or on the ball field. Silva went deep into pioneering new techniques, including the centering exercise to rapidly take you into the alpha level. And then he created techniques to amplify focus, creativity, and intuition. His mental video technique, which he created in the mid 1990s as he's laid at his deathbed, was designed to help you bring in higher intelligence to help you solve the most difficult problems. He also created the three scenes technique to help you see your life unfolding exactly as you want it to unfold and also to accelerate healing and manifest your deepest desires. His case working technique was designed to train people to learn the science of mind body healing. As the Silva method grew, of course there were skeptics. Newspapers sent journalists to go into Silva classes and see what this man was talking about. Silva classes were absolutely mobbed by people, filled with Wall Street types and executives, and they were loving it because they were learning to conquer stress. But what they did not know, Jose Silva was not gonna stop at something so simple. Stress was just one aspect. By day four of the class, they were learning to tap into intuition, to access deep states of meditation, and to manifest their future. An entire marketing company was organized by graduates to use what they learned in Silva to invent new products and decide new ways to market them. In its third year, the company had 18 products on the market. Furthermore, one advertising man used to need two months to create a campaign for his clients. This was quite average in the field. Applying the Silva method, 
he brought the process down to 20 minutes. The rest of the work was done in two weeks. Now, the famous Chicago White Sox had 14 players take the silver method. All their individual averages improved, most of them dramatically. The husband of a woman who was suffering from obesity suggested she try the silver method because all the diets she tried had failed. She agreed, provided he took silver too. She lost 20 pounds in six weeks. He stopped smoking. A professor at a college of pharmacy taught silver to his graduates. Their grades are going up in...